Welcome to our The China Briefing program. Today, we're diving into some fascinating stories from across the globe. First up, imagine a coil gun so powerful and quick that it fires 3,000 rounds per minute. Yes, you heard that right. Chinese scientists have unveiled this groundbreaking electromagnetic weapon, boasting a design powered by lithium batteries that can shoot projectiles at 86 meters per second. This innovation could change the face of future warfare, offering silent, rapid, and adjustable firepower, although some challenges like accuracy still need ironing out. Next, we look at how Chinese companies are cleverly turning geopolitical tensions into opportunities for global growth. For instance, Hangzhou-based eSign Global is expanding its digital signature services worldwide, benefiting from the US-China trade tensions by shifting focus from US to international markets. Despite tariff fluctuations, Chinese firms like Leapmotor are boosting their overseas revenues, showcasing their resilience and adaptability in a shifting global landscape. Finally, we explore Hong Kong's vital role in defending the rules-based international order. Amid rising tensions between the US and China, Hong Kong is positioned as a key player, leveraging its unique status to promote multilateralism and uphold global norms. As a hub of cooperation and dialogue, Hong Kong continues to be a beacon of stability and a defender of international rules in an increasingly uncertain world. Please continue to watch for the detailed stories. South China Morning Post vividly reports on a groundbreaking technological leap by Chinese scientists in electromagnetic weaponry. The article describes a state-of-the-art coil gun capable of firing an astonishing 3,000 rounds per minute, a rate that leaves traditional firearms and even advanced US models in the dust. This rapid-fire capability is made possible by a revolutionary capacitor-free design, where lithium batteries directly energize the coil system, eliminating the lag associated with capacitor charging. The detailed account of the prototype reveals a compact, bullpup-style rifle with 20 copper coil stages, each precisely controlled by nanosecond-accurate semiconductor chips. The innovation not only achieves a velocity of 86 meters per second but also promises a versatile application spectrum, from non-lethal riot control to lethal combat, while maintaining silent operation and adjustable lethality. Despite current limitations like battery recharge time and precision, the technological breakthrough signals a new era in electromagnetic weaponry, with the potential to redefine future battlefield dynamics and suppression tactics. The South China Morning Post explores how Chinese firms are strategically leveraging the ongoing US-China tensions to fuel their global expansion. Companies like Hangzhou's eSign Global are capitalizing on rising concerns over data security and the retreat from US digital services, which has created fertile ground for domestic alternatives. As Chinese enterprises expand overseas, their revenue streams are soaring. eSign Global, with its extensive network of partners including Alibaba Cloud, exemplifies this trend, boasting tripled revenues and plans for further expansion into Southeast Asia, Japan, South America, Europe, and the Middle East. The report highlights the success stories of firms like Leapmotor, which anticipates that at least 10% of its electric vehicle deliveries will be international by 2025, and other mainland Chinese companies that outperform domestic benchmarks by tapping into global markets. Despite setbacks from US tariffs and export declines, Chinese companies demonstrate resilience and agility, positioning themselves for sustained growth by turning geopolitical challenges into opportunities for international diversification and revenue generation. The South China Morning Post also discusses Hong Kong's pivotal role in defending the rules-based international order amidst rising global tensions. Against the backdrop of deteriorating US-China relations and aggressive US trade policies under the Trump administration, Hong Kong exemplifies stability and adherence to international norms. The article underscores Hong Kong's commitment to maintaining zero tariffs on US products and its dedication to implementing UN conventions, positioning the city as a vital bridge in global diplomacy. It advocates for Hong Kong to harness its unique experience rooted in nearly 160 years of British rule and its status as a global financial hub to support China's efforts in upholding international rules and fostering multilateral cooperation. The piece highlights Hong Kong's potential to lead by example in trade, public health, climate action, and AI governance, emphasizing that its strategic engagement can help safeguard the global rules-based system and promote shared prosperity in an increasingly fragmented world.
South China Morning Post vividly captures the heartfelt initiative of South Korea's Warmth Mailbox, a project that brings hope and human connection amidst the pervasive digital loneliness. Every evening, Jong sung won a young student, immerses himself in the act of reading anonymous handwritten letters from strangers facing life struggles, from overwhelmed teenagers to lonely retirees. These letters, often filled with fears and regrets, are met with personal, handwritten replies from trained volunteers, creating a tangible bridge of empathy in a society where mental health stigma persists and therapy remains less accessible. The project's success, spanning over 80 community points, demonstrates how simple acts of genuine listening and handwritten communication can foster comfort, mutual healing, and a sense of belonging, especially among those who feel unheard or judged. The South China Morning Post also explores the complex landscape of mental health and societal expectations in South Korea, where high suicide rates and rising depression among youth and elderly reveal a nation under significant emotional pressure. Psychologist Kim Hyun highlights how societal standards around appearance, success, and wealth often lead to feelings of inadequacy and anxiety, compounded by a generational divide in attitudes towards seeking help. The Warmth Mailbox emerges as a vital alternative to traditional therapy, offering a non-judgmental space for expression and connection that is accessible and anonymous. For volunteers like Jong and recipients like Emily Kim, the act of writing and receiving heartfelt, handwritten letters becomes a therapeutic ritual, cultivating empathy and understanding amid a society still grappling with mental health stigma. In a different vein, the South China Morning Post narrates the intriguing history of Hong Kong-Japan film collaborations, exemplified by the 1971 productions Atwachi and The One-Armed Swordsman. Despite stereotypical portrayals of Japanese characters as dishonorable in earlier Hong Kong cinema, studios like Shaw Brothers and Golden Harvest engaged in cross-cultural collaborations driven by technological exchange and commercial interests. The film itself, a blend of Japanese sword-fighting precision and Hong Kong martial arts flair, features a notable duel between Wang Yu's one-armed swordsman and Zatwachi, symbolizing a unique transnational fusion. However, the production's style remains distinctly Japanese, with swift, brutal swordplay and low-angle cinematography, reflecting the cultural nuances of each side. This collaboration underscores the complex dynamics of cinematic exchange, where commercial rivalry, creative ambition, and cultural storytelling intersect, leaving a lasting legacy in the history of martial arts cinema. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.